Bye. Good evening. And thanks for staying tuned to your number one station for Talk 92.3 Nigeria Info. At this time, I have a guest with me in the studio. But first of all, you are tuned in to a brand new show. Um, it's called Money Minute with United Capital PLC. Now, on this show, we will be sharing tips on how to manage your personal finance and how to make informed financial decisions and ultimately navigate your way to financial freedom. Now in the studio with me is Samir Sam, Sanusi. He's a resident financial advisor at United Capital PLC. Today we'll be discussing a topic for entrepreneurs and business owners out there listening this evening. And um, the topic is financing opportunities for SMEs. All right. So if you have any questions on the topic, simply send a message to our WhatsApp, which is 0809-030-6416. Or you can send your questions on Twitter, tagging at UnitedCap and using the hashtag MoneyMinute with UCAP. So I have Sanusi, like I said, with me in the studio. Hi, Sanusi. Lovely seeing you again. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Thank you for having me. All right. So, um... For those tuning in for the first time, right, can you just tell us a little about United Capital PLC? I would be happy to do so. United Capital PLC is the foremost investment bank and financial service company in Nigeria. And we have been in existence for over five decades now, and that's a long time. So our core is in investment banking, but we have subsidiary businesses that offer services in asset management, trusteeship, securities trading, wealth management, and consumer finance. So last week, we enjoyed yet another giant stride as we continue to thrive on the global scale. We are honored to be recognized for the second year in a row by Financial Times as one of the Africa's fastest growing companies. And that is really a big deal. And I just thought I should mention that. Okay. Uh, we have a regional office here in Port Harcourt. Our regional office is situated in the UBA main building at number 14, Azikwe Road, Port Harcourt. And to give you a description, when you get to mile one flyover, just before the UTC junction, we are inside the big UBA you know, headquarters that is directly opposite Sliverbed building. We are in Wari in Delta State. We are in Onicha in Anambra State. We are in Lagos. We are in Ibadan. We are in Abuja, Kano, Kaduna, Gombe, and even Ghana to tell you how big and, you know, vast presence that we have all over. All right. So the last episode um, we had, we there was a giveaway and um, two lucky listeners uh, yes, exactly. Would win 5,000 or they've won already. Which they one is it? They've won right from our they've first won. episode. All right. So and can you do us the honors and announce the winners? So thank you to those that participated. The question for the day was, you know, they should name two trust products or services that is offered by United Capital. And our winners are at Kainde Fainto 2 and at David Ibikiri on Twitter. So congratulations, you both have won 5,000 Naira each. Again, the winners are at Kainde Fainto 2 and at David Ibikiri on Twitter. All right, so congratulations to the winners for today or for the last episode. And now let's get into the topic. But before we get into the topic, can you give us some um, insight into the situation of things as it relates to SMEs and the Nigerian economy currently? Okay, so... Yeah, it's, it's a very good question. Before you can even offer a solution, you need to understand what the problems are. So currently in Nigeria, the small, medium enterprise, also known as SMEs, are considered one of the most important industries for sustainable economic development. You know, they are major drivers of all economies. And the World Bank, in one of its definitions, defined them as, you know, those firms with 500 or less employees are referred to as SMEs. So if your firm is having less than 500 SME, you can benefit from this conversation. So according to the National Bureau of Statistics, we believe that these SMEs, you know, contribute to about 48% of the national GDP in the last five years, Nigeria as a case. And you can really see the impact. 48% is a large number. Mm. But unfortunately, there is a large gap in the financing of these businesses, which has really, you know, affected their growth potential. Okay. And even by extension, it has affected the economy. And with access to finance as a major barrier of this firm, we seek, you know, to educate these SMEs on how to access finance in this episode. All right. So let's go to the topic now. How can SMEs access financing and um, what are these opportunities that are available to them? 
Okay, so the opportunities that are available to SMEs, you know, typically depend on the stage that they are. So you could see SME in different stages, some are in their seed stage, some are in their startup stage, some are in their growth stage. So when selecting an appropriate financing option, you might want to look at that stage. You might also want to look at the long and the short term plan of that business. The management experience of that business is very important. And some of the financing opportunities they can take advantage of has an element of debt or equity. We would be running through some of those options uh, shortly. So to begin, we have commercial papers. So SMEs can take advantage of commercial papers. Commercial papers are short-term debt instruments that they can use to raise funds for their short-term financing needs. Very important. They are unsecured and they have maturities ranging from a few days to one year. That means you have access to that fund for up to a whole year. We have private secured notes. Uh, they are also debt instruments that are issued by SMEs. And they, for this one, for any SME looking into using private secured notes to get access to finance, they must be ready to have a collateral or an asset, you know, to access that kind of finance. We also have the private equity. So it's also used to raise, you know, capital from investors such as pension funds, you know, endowment and wealthy individuals. And one thing about this form of equity capital is that it is only, you know, done by privately held companies that are not listed on the stock exchange. And so they are referred to as the private equity. And lastly, what we'll be looking at is private bonds. They are also debt, you know, securities that are issued by private entities such as SMEs, corporations, or even government to raise capital. And they are typically not you know, treated, tra traded as they are usually offered to just you know few select individuals and high net worth investors. So that's uh, some of the financing options uh, they can take advantage of. All right, commercial papers, I had um, private, private equity, private mm -hmm. bonds. Now, all these things sound kind of technical. And um, let's take a deeper dive into each of these funding options. What do they really entail? What are their benefits and um, what are the criteria for SMEs to qualify for them? Okay, so the sweet thing about this kind of, this uh options we've mentioned is it has benefits and features that affect both the SME and those investors that will be giving money to those SMEs needs. Okay. So for the SMEs, for a commercial paper, for example, now you want, you have an SME, you want to raise money using a commercial paper, it can offer you that short-term debt instrument that, you know, traditionally, you know, banks deposit will not offer you that kind of, you know, opportunities. So you can have access to this money for up to 270 days for even up to a year and they are typically unsecured which means you don't need to have a collateral before we're able to set up a commercial paper for you. Okay. So far, you tick some boxes, you'll be able to raise you know, money from the investor and you can use money this money for up to one year as uh, you know as uh, an SME. Now, on the part of the investor, they have the advantage of generally getting high returns that ordinary traditional bank deposit would not offer them. And as an investor, if you, you know, invest in a CP and you don't want to wait until it matures, you can also sell it off in the secondary market and have access back to your money. So it's, it's really a good one when it comes to the part of the investor and um, the SME themselves. The private secured notes, oh, of course, they are also debt instruments similar to CP. But for this one, the SME must have a specific asset for collateral. Okay. So it's it's more like it, this asset or the collateral will provide an added layer of security for the investor, mm. knowing fully well that you have an asset you can fall back to should you re fail to recover your investment. Right. So it's it's that's the major difference between a CP and a private, you know, secured note. That extra layer of uh, security for investors compared to the unsecured debt in the case of a CP. And of course, we also have the private equity that we've mentioned. So for these ones, it offers basically to the investor. So there are some investors that are very big and they are just looking for that company that needs their expertise and money, of course. Mm. So you are giving your money to an SME to, to do whatsoever. You can also provide them with operational and, you know, strategic expertise to enhance the value of that company. And after a short while, you can sell off, you know, your stake at a, you know, higher profit margin. That's for the private equity. And for the lastly, we have um, the private bonds, which are also debt securities issued by private equity, such as corporation, government, and co to raise capital. They are not publicly traded and they are, you know, usually offered to just limited, you know, number of people. So <clears throat> I'll also be happy to mention that we'll be hosting a webinar on this in a few weeks to give in-depth details of what each of these you know instruments we've mentioned entails okay. and you don't want to miss that webinar all right so can you tell us um how one can be part of the webinar of course yes so to get started you can even talk to us now on zero eight zero maybe after the show eight one 
82828182. Again, the number is 080 to speak to one of us. And you can also visit www.investnow.ng or download the InvestNow application on Google Play Store or iOS ios app store to sign up so i also strongly encourage our listeners to go now and sign up so and while you are signing up please look forward to receiving the details of the webinar that is part of the reason why you need to go and download that the application now it's spelled as i-n-v-e-s-t-n-o-w invest now application you can also go to our website on www.investnow.ng you know to sign up so as soon as you sign up we'll have you on our database and when we're rolling out the information on the the webinar that would we'll be hosting on this in a few weeks, you will have first hand information where we are going to dissect all of these instruments one after the other, what you stand to benefit as an SME, what you stand to gain as an investor looking to, you know, uh, key into one of these um, capital raise options for SMEs. And I must tell you, you don't want to miss that webinar because it's going to be loaded. It's going to be filled with insight. And while we also expose you to you know, other instruments on the go that you can even t- take advantage of aside from these um, financing opportunities for SMEs. All right, this is really interesting because one of the things um, SMEs complain about is capital. They don't have capital to start. So these are actually options they can take advantage of, right? Exactly. These are options they can take advantage of and they can't get it anywhere else because these are fantastic options that offer both to you as SME it offers you that um, that leverage you know to get what you want and without the, the stress of it basically all right so if you're listening you have questions you can um, send them to whatsapp now 0809-030-6416 or send your question on twitter tag at united cap and use a hashtag Money Minute with UCAP. Money Minute with UCAP. I've been speaking with Mr. Samir Sani- Sanusi. <laughs> I don't know why I like struggling with that name. But Sanusi is here and we've been talking about financing opportunities for SMEs. Um, Sanusi, can I get your final thoughts um, on this um, topic for today? Okay, so I want to encourage our listeners all across not to forget to follow us across all our social media platforms. If you want to learn more about what we just discussed, financing opportunities for SMEs and even other financial tips on the go, we have a lot, you know, we dished out to our co- to our clients and to, you know, our, our followers on social media and they can attest to the fact of, you know, value that comes out from it. Follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, follow us on YouTube at United Capital PLC and on Twitter at United Cap. Our regional office, again, is situated in the UBA main building at number 14, Azikwe Road, Port Harcourt. So to give you a description, when you get to mile one flyover on the Abba Road and towards UTC Junction, we are inside the big UBA building headquarters that is directly opposite the Sliver Bed building. Don't forget to follow us again on Facebook, Instagram,